um through um through our um admins which is uh, Kevin Bosnio and um Christopher Asteliero. Um we are making this possible. So all right, so who among you here are ready to learn about our topic for today? Taas ang kamot, taas ang kamay, taas ang tiil, taas ang paa. All right, I want to see your faces, guys. Can I we open see our your camera, faces. guys, para ano naman yeah. makita natin isa't isa, di ba? Yes, if you are ashamed of your face, there's a feature <laughs> on Zoom to filter it, like yeah. me. <laughs> If you can, if you notice, I have mustache, but I don't have mustache at all. So you can use filter. Wag mahiya. Wag mahihiyang magpakita ng face. <laughs> Admins, you can screen take a screenshot para makita natin yung mga beautiful faces ng ating uh, mga friends. All right. Uh, um, before we will. Okay, so before Sir Rafael to start right now, um, okay. Okay. Mute po kayo ha. Yeah. Sige, go. Take it away, boss of uh, Kevin. Nakamute ka, boss. Um, there are some rules that we should adhere or should follow. Oh, sana. Ayan na la. Okay, nandito. Ayan. Nakita nyo na. Um, can you see it, right, guys? Yeah. Okay, so, yeah. Um, good evening, guys. By the way, I'm John Kevin Miller. And... So, now we will have our ground rules or our house rules for this one. An etiquette for virtual coaching workshop. The importance of practicing good etiquette on the internet. So, yeah. First is, this online workshop is recorded. So, it means your participation means that you are giving consent to be recorded. So the next one is come prepared to engage in the learning. So yeah, um, um, our speakers or our trainers right now is not, uh, um, they are helping us and helping us in the community to help us um, find clients um, after this training. So next is be on time. Be here five minutes before the online workshop starts. So I'm um, sorry for the delay um, today. So um, there are some uh, technical difficulties. And yeah, um, next time be here five minutes before the time. So next is mute your microphone when not speaking. If you would like to speak, click the raise hand button down below. Then wait for the moderator, which is me or the facilitator to address your concern. So next is respect the speaker by listening attentively so five if you have questions use the chat box for the moderator or me the facilitator to note it it will be addressed during our question and answer answer afterwards so six is take down notes so yeah um there is the research so shows that um our listening uh, the listening um our listening is only um 30%. So um impossible talaga na makukuha mo sa isang setting yung ano. So if you have notebooks or papers or pens there, just take down notes or you have your phones there or your tablets, you can take down notes. Next is stay focused. So and next, accomplish attendance and ev evaluation. So um in uh, in our chat box we we have a attendance sheet or attendance form. And after the discussion, we will have an evaluation. I will be giving evaluation um, for those um, para malalaman natin na kung sino talaga ang ano, present talaga kasi may mag-aalis ano, within the discussion. So, dyan kami babase ng, ano, ng 
Um, uh, Diyan kami babase kung nandito pa kayo or wala. So next is, note, two consecutive absences without valid reason means you're out from the workshop. So yan lang. And please turn on your camera at all times during our workshop. Acting in a professional manner is expected from both trainer and trainee. So to leave your quote, a man's manners are a mirror in which he shows his portrait. Treat everyone with kindness and respect online. It's whether online or offline. So yan lang po. Just um so yan lang po. Um just adhere to the to our online rules. So that ano. So yeah, that's all. Um, Let's go. Okay. okay, so open your cameras, guys. Okay, boss. Start tayo, boss. All right, good. all right. All right, good evening once again, everybody. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing great. So today, guys, we're going to talk about, let me share my screen. So we'll talk about Resume 101, how to write resume with no experience. So can I see the hands of everyone na wala pong experience as in um, first time nila maging virtual assistant? Can I see your hands po? All right. So can I also see the hands of those who have experience but wala pang client for now? Yeah, and I can see virtual hands. Thank you. Thank you so much. I see your lovely faces. Thank you so much. So um, about resume, it was assigned to me to discuss to you um, resume because, you know, I, this is basically what my experience is. I'm sharing this to you based on my experiences. Uh, it's also how I see, uh, you know, this discussion is mainly on my experience and on how I parang yung nakita parang formula ng resume um na nakakapang akit ng ng client sorry i'm i'm having a hard time uh, talking in tagalog kasi i i know you can feel i you know you can relate to me na I, I cannot say mainly Bisaya because we do have people here from Luzon. So, you know, just to be fair, I'm going to talk in English and a little bit of Tagalog para magkaintindihan tayo. So going back, uh, for resume, uh, for almost two and a half or three years of being a virtual assistant, I have tried multiple attempts, multiple form formula and multiple ways on how to make a resume and how to make uh, an impacting resume that can really attract clients and uh, that can really um, win or nail or kill a uh, you know an application. So um, before that, I'm gonna uh, before I discuss that to you, I'm gonna talk about myself first. So supposedly, ito yung part na mag-discuss ako sa or mag-introduce ako about myself. But let me introduce myself anyways about me. So this is my first job. So I've been with Nexus Home Buyers way back 2018. So property management com uh, property management company siya. Then um, my task is I my my role is a lead generate lead generator or lead generation specialist. So we are so lucky enough that my first job provide us um uh uh in a uniform. So that was on uh, Davao Crocodile Farm. The Crocodile Park, ano ba yan? Basta, ganun. Then I also became a radio DJ. Hindi halata on how I speak, but I became a radio DJ and a graphic designer for rock uh, radio, Ra Radio Ronda, Rock FM. And I was able to um, cover some special events like uh, this year's election, May 9th of 20 or you know 2020 elections 2022 elections i mean at the same time i'm also a a photographer so i as what you can see there buis <laughs> buhay na um, photography yeah then i was um, i i also have an award uh, for elite 
Business and Leadership Award as the best affordable photography services. That was extremely a shock because I didn't expect but I won. And uh, I also was recognized by Davao Phone Photography as one of the featured uh, photos for that specific month or week. At the same time, I do photo manipulation. So these are my sample works. So mainly, dito, dito nagsimula yung passion ko sa graphic design. Kay, kasi I, I really love editing pictures for myself, making realistic um, approach on, on photos, making uh, extravagant edits, etc. And lastly, uh, I do, uh, I'm practicing um, graphic art. So that's my sample work. Hindi pa siya furnace, but uh, we're going there. All right, so going to our topic, what's the importance of resume? So, um, marahil tinatanong mo sa sarili mo that why am i joining this kind of workshop alam ko naman ito eh. I, I know how to work i know how to to create a, a resume alam ko uh, i am i'm doing it since high school who who among you here rem can remember yung career guidance ng high school nyo that you were asked to uh, to create a resume right so same format yung picture um yung yung information your details your educational background from elementary Minsan, sinasama pa nga natin yung pang-kinder, elementary, high school, college, etc. Then, uh, mga work experiences. So, we all know that. We all know um, the resume, but uh, we all know how to make resume. But do you, does your resume really attracts clients? I want you to know, guys, on this, on our market today, on our industry, um, I have shared a video before that um, the company you know the competency or uh, ang competency the competency ang competency sa 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 virtual assistants and freelancing world is very tight you need to stand out and what is one factor that that you could stand out is by your resume kasi first step is you click the link or you click you go to the website to apply and what ano yung pinakaunang hinihingi sa yo diba resume so resume represents you. Importance number one, it's for clients or recruiter to know your personal background better. Because you can say, I am a graphic designer, I am a social media manager, but what's the recibo? Anong recibo? Uh, where's the recibo, right? Um, importance number two, to showcase your skills and expertise. Uh, parang may nagsasalita. Any questions, guys? I guess Koya Christopher is on is fine. But anyways, let's proceed to showcase your skills and expertise and experience. Of course, yeah, that's the main purpose, right? For making a resume and important sympathy to represent of who you are as a business partner. This is uh, one of the things that you need to see. Your resume represents you and who are you as a business partner. Kasi if your client will hire you, you, you will be, uh, ikaw yung magiging business partner nila eh. You are responsible on increasing their sales, increasing their, um, um, you know, increasing their in revenues. So you are the best, the business partner. And how can they trust you? They cannot just pick you because you, ikaw ang pinakamaganda or ikaw ang pinaka-attractive. No. You are being Picked, you're you are being judged the way on how your resume looks like, and that's the reason why this is the first topic for our workshop this um, for the entire month, because this is one of the most important topic that we need or that every virtual assistant has to do. And I'm not saying that this is a perfect formula, but what I'm saying is I've been doing this for um, roughly around three years and. I'm sharing you uh, a file here. You can see that I have attempted or I have multiple resumes created all throughout my career. And I finally have um, I have finally found a resume that works for me, which is this one. And we'll uh, we will see that later on sa ating discussion. So moving moving on. So what there are a lot of types of resume but we will tackle for uh we will today we'll tackle about two types of resume 
which is functional resume and creative resume. We'll also um, merge them together to make a functional creative resume. So what am I talking about? Am I making sense here? Well, I, I'm gonna share to you um, a little bit, you know, I'm gonna share you examples of uh, functional resumes. If you have, by the way, if you have questions, list it down so that if uh, if I'm done with discussions, you can ask questions, okay? So functional resumes is like this. So plain old, um, it's mostly composed of um, informations about you, your personal experience, your background, your work experience, etc. And what is creative resume? So I, I believe this is the most common resume na ginagamit natin and everyone is using. So this one, these are um, creative resumes. Then um, later on, we're going to talk about functional um, creative resume, which is what I use um, on all of my resumes. All right, so moving on. Wait lang. All right. So next one is um, how can since this is a workshop, guys, we will gonna to, we will gonna use two main software or applications um, to create resumes because after this discussion, we're gonna uh, execute. So um, I believe, boss um, Neo, you provided them access to Canva, right? Uh, meron. Uh, what do you mean exactly? Yung, yung, the, you're giving free, uh, yung, yung Canva, yung part. Uh oh, uh, yung sa Canva. Uh -oh. Yes. So, um, right now, I want you to open your Canva. You know, I'm not saying that we are gonna do the, the, the execution or the application right now, but I'm gonna discuss to you two applications that I mainly use Canva and uh, flowcv.io. So we're gonna talk that. Uh, we're gonna talk about that um, right now. So okay, let let's do it right now. Let's do it right now. So uh, on Canva, you could just simply it's it's very easy in Canva, and um, actually Canva is making our life easier now. So all you need to do is just type resume. Maybe you could prepare this uh, so that um, yung application part natin is not that lengthy because. I'm not really sure, boss, um, Neo or Kevin, if we will see their output because um, it might take long. Um, and um, here's the thing. So after your after your discussion, we will be having a one hour task, or you will be giving your your um task to the trainees, and I will be the one um I will be the one uh, collecting their outputs for today, and mm -hmm. you'll be the one checking it. And okay. for the, um, yeah. All right, all right, perfect. So going back, so we do have uh, two applications that we're gonna use. It really depends upon you. Um, uh, we can mainly use Canva, but we could also use flowcv.io. So let's start with uh, Canva. So all you need to do is just go to Canva. I believe all of you knows about this, but some mga newbie, uh, newbies, uh, you could, Check this out. So all you need to do is go to Canva, then type resume. Then uh, it will wait long. Yeah. So all you need to do is just select um the the template. Yan lang. All you need to do is select your template. So I choose. Uh, let's say I I choose this. Yeah. So yeah, and now you can you can see the details. You can see about me, education references. Um, parang you know it's it's already made for you already, but uh, we will change the format a little bit, uh, just for us to attract or just for us to you know um make it a functional resume. Because it's creative resume, eh. then uh, we will make a functional creative resume. Kaya pa para yung um we can attract or lure our clients at the same time we can masasampal natin sila ng informations about about us about our work experience etc so that's canva and this is flowcv.io so all you need to do is just type flowcv.io 
um, IO and it will show you this. So yeah, just type it in. Not really sure if this is still the password, but let's try. Wait lang. Any questions so far, guys? While I'm I'm pulling this up. Any questions, clarifications, confusions? I know. Insert na lang muna ako while you're finding your password, bro. Ah. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Siguro, again, a resume can come in three diff uh, many forms na, no? And mm, many forms. And sa requirement, meron tayong tinatawag na document form, which is this one, what we're going to do. Meron din tayong audio resume. Meron din video resume. Part one is actually social media resume, which is yung LinkedIn. I don't know if you're not familiar per LinkedIn. It's a social media platform, pero it's more targeted to business owners, to agencies, ganun siya. So, your LinkedIn profile can serve as resume then. So, yun siya apat. Document, audio, video, and social media. Mm. That's, uh, thank you so much, uh, boss, for adding that up. So, um, that's also one of the things na makakapag-attract impressively but uh, i guess that's uh that's an uh a different topic right because we are given uh 2 hours long but anyways um we'll not uh, spend more uh, a lot of time on flowcv.io flowcv.io um can also be considered as a word um you know word resume too anyways going back so uh, we have discussed already uh, two different tools that I that I use. So going back to the topic. So we're gonna talk about the components of a uh, resume. So ano yung mga components like, uh, sir, ano po yung dapat laman ng resume ko? Kasi you mentioned a specific formula. You mentioned specific informations that we need to add on our. Uh, um, um, resume. So, what are those informations, components of a resume? So, of course, uh, understandable naman din, guys, that you need to have a professional picture. And when I say professional, it's it does not, hindi ganito. Like, I, I can see people who who use selfies like this to, to their resumes. And um, if I will be the client looking at this picture, your professional picture, I will not be happy. I will not, uh, I, you know, uh, parang I will not, you know, I will not spend more time checking your resume because picture nyo palang at first, the uh, picture nyo palang it it tells you it tells a lot, right? It it tells you who you are as a person, if you are formal, if you're really into, if you're really serious. So what I suggest is this is just a suggestion, right? So you could create a formal or you can take a picture. Actually, hindi ito DSLR. This is my um, this is my professional picture. So um, you can say that it's a bit pixelated, but this is a formal picture. So you can wear uh wear coats, uh maybe ganyan. And for our workshop today, just make sure na hindi ganito yung pictures na ilalagay nyo sa resume nyo, okay? So just make sure that you're presentable. Um, it may be ganito. It may be yung ID type. As long as it's presentable and it speaks like you're professional and you're here to do business. Okay. So personal informations. Of course, you need uh, clients need to know about you. So what are the th key informations that you need to add on your um, resume? So you need to have your name, of course, your address, your education. Um, your email address, your contact number, your social media accounts. Well, for me, this uh, this is you know this is a benefit for me or this is an advantage for me adding social media accounts on my resume because they will be able to see my social media pages, yung yung uh, how I how I interact or how I do social media something, and it really tells also clients. Who am I as a person? Just make sure to 
provide your social media, your business social media or your social media page. But if yung social media page mo is not about business, not not formal, purely um purely nonsense lang or kakatawanan lang, then maybe don't include it. Then job sites account, yung LinkedIn, um Upwork, uh, online jobs, etc. So also include that so that they can see your online account because um, there are clients who work directly with these job sites so that they can just simply add you or or do business through that uh, platform. And also include your interesting things, uh, interesting things about you and your hobbies. So so that you know it could uh, it could increase interest or it could give your client interest para maging uh, it will spark interest to your client. So um, I have this experience once that I uh, included hobbies on my resume. And specifically, the client asked for that information. Like, uh, I can see here in your resume that you like filmmaking. I can see here in your resume that you like photography. Tell me tell me more about it. Yeah. So um, resume really... Um, is your first step on application and um, when i say first step dapat um siksik na ng information that um parang hindi na hindi na kailangang magtanong ng client pa anymore kasi all of the informations are on your resumes tapos um i will gonna show you later um some samples of resumes but we're gonna proceed with the most i i think the most important um, part of the resume, which is the work experience. So, um, who again, I have asked you earlier who have no related work experience. Um, uh, sir, I don't have any BPO experience. I don't have any VA experience. I, I'm just very new. And that's the reason why this, um, this coaching series talks about um, resume 101 for new beginners or so for for everyone who don't have experience so um, we can talk about that so things you could consider so ito po yun, I'm, 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 uh, ito po yung, uh, you can consider if you don't have any experience on BPO uh, on, on virtual assistant so you can include your office job if you are um, if you are doing let's say if you are a teacher Maybe you could indicate that there and um, just make sure to highlight admin related jobs or something that uh, is connected to uh, the, the position that you're applying for, mga admin tasks. I believe that teachers had admin tasks too, right? You are creating or you are uh, writing, um, ano yung, ano yung tawag dong sa lesson plan. Yeah, you're creating lesson, lessons, lesson plan, something. E-commerce, you could also include that if you are online, you know, online seller, you could also include that it it could fall into uh, um, social uh, e-commerce, because uh, mainly e-commerce works with e-commerce platform like um, Amazon, um, Alibaba, something like that, Shopify, and Shopee and Lazada can is e-commerce. So what's you know basically it's the same thing. So you can include that. And uh, I believe that you know other learnings about e-commerce virtual assistant stuff can be learned as long as you present yourself as uh, you know or you have experience with that related job. The most common one is BPO. Advantage if you have this experience because uh, most um, newbies, especially BPOs, um, they have higher percentage of chance uh, to be hired as a you know as a virtual assistant or to be hired as a an, uh, as a client, and lastly your own experience. Whatever experience you have, if you have if you are selling, uh, if you are selling banana queue, you could do that. Um, um, you know you could say marketing strategist, um, food marketing strategist. So you could present uh, you know you could present that to the client, you could include that. But if you're not comfortable putting that on your resume, then, um, you know, don't, ayaw, wag, wag na lang. But the point here is, um, since mostly 
tinitignan ng client yung work experience mo and if you don't have experience and if you cannot provide any experience on the on the table then uh, i believe there's no sense of um, proceeding with the application then they will eventually move on to the next applicant kasi uh, sabi ko sa inyo earlier um the market is tight so um at least you could add um whatever um work experience you have then i'll gonna tell you uh, i'll gonna give you some sort of format on how to to um to arrange that all right so next uh target details so for this this applies for work experience so target details all you need to indicate sa work experience mo is your position or your company so indicate the positions and the company you've worked with. Make sure to specify the dates. It's also it's also um mo uh not all, but some client uh really uh look at the duration of your stay at a specific company because because they don't like um short term clients and un unless it's a project based account. Uh, who among you here are call center agents? To ask your kamay. Uh, have been or uh, a previous call center agent. So if you can relate to me, guys, um, if you will apply to a different company, they will check your resume. Tapos the main thing na titignan nila sa yung resume is the duration of stay sa, 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 sa company na pinagtrabahuan mo before. And that happens uh, to me a lot of times because um, there are instances in my life that I've join this company and i i i don't like the the, the company i you know i i find it I, i'm not seeing myself working on that environment so i jump to a different company and that's what we call um company hopping or job hopping something like that so you need to indicate your um um your position and as much as possible yeah it should be at least one year one year to two years all right so the next one is skills and task what are the tasks you perform for this role ano yung mga ginagawa mo for that role uh, you can indicate um, graphic designer social media manager lead generator general admin etc so you need to indicate that and lastly how your uh, how your day look like so indicate the task you perform daily so this is the uh, sample example ito yung date yeah, wait lang. Yeah, ito yung date. You can see it's one year. And ito yung company, Larkmont Optimetrics, uh, Glen Park. Kasi this is um this is part time. I'm pinagsabay ko sila all at the same time. And uh, you can see the position, social media manager, graphic designer, video editor. Then this is the part, day-to-day -day task. This is what I'm talking about. It says here the tasks creating contents graphic uh, graphics and video related um you know contents opportunities blah 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 para saan to guys uh, sir para para saan yan what's that for parang extra yan uh, it's just way too extra um this was uh, an advice that was given to me by Kim i'm not really sure if you know Kim but Kim is the hr admin or hr specialist for alchemy outsourcing and she she taught me this um pattern because most of the client look at your work experience and they specifically look at what you usually do for uh for that specific company so um you could indicate your day-to-day -day job or day-to-day -day task yeah you don't need to be a hindi hindi necessary na maging essay siya na maging one pager um, content so just have a brief summary of what you do for that specific company on a day to day basis all right so next so also this is also a uh, a key factor to make your resume stand out as well so the client want you to present your skills they are looking for someone who is skillful enough to perform the job so we'll give them we'll give that to them so you need to indicate your skill skills so you could simply create this pattern 
you could list all of the skills that you know and you could um on my end on my case i grade them on how i'm how expert i am to all of that skills so this ito itong itong format na ito ito the, I, i get this on flowcv.io and um that's something that we could try maybe later if i could you know create an account for flowcv.io kasi it's uh it's not allowing me right now so again list down all of the task uh, skills that you know all right then grade yourself kasi dito magbabase like example your client is looking for a general admin so as a gen when you say general admin from the word itself general that means that it's general of course then there are a lot of things under that specific position so if you will list down all of your skills uh, at at nakita to ng client na to eh hey, ito yung hinahanap ko this 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 guy knows data entry oy this client uh, this this agent or this applicant know how to um to do campaign management oy this client knows how to do ad management or oy the client uh, knows how to Uh, this agent knows how to uh, do photo and video editing so i will hire this one um it's very important guys that you highlight your skills because again there are a lot of people na nag-aagawan sa position na yan and if if you are not presenting yourself as someone who is skillful enough through your resume then hindi ka mapipili but this will it's not a guaranteed again but this works for me all right So indicate your skills. Also indicate the tools you are using or you have used. So for me, these are the list of skills, mainly the list of skills. Uh, actually, there's five. Uh, there's a lot. If you can see above three out of five. So there's a lot of tools that I've used. So also indicate that because I'm not really sure if uh, I, I, I I believe everyone who has already experienced with virtual assistant diba you could agree that the client or the interviewer will ask you do you know how to use google business suites or um, do you know how to use uh, microsoft office do you know how to use canva yada 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 so by having this on your resume um, you know they can you know they can it, it could really spark interest samahan pa ng skills mo and with the tools that you know eventually that will really um, catch your client's attention yan then also mark your client um, mark your uh, experiences and how good you are five for five dots for excellent and you know i know that you get it all right so also since resume is one of the things that you use to attract clients might as well sagarin na natin so you can present your certificates kaya okay mute kay kuan kuya nya na na mute kita nasali kita sa pag mute bro pa unmute na lang sorry 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 All right, moving on. Um, certificates. Uh, again, as what I've said, since you are just presenting yourself, you are selling yourself. Binibenta mo yung sarili mo, sarili mo sa client. You are um, nagpapabango ako sa client. Why not sagarin mo na lang? So how to do that? Then present your certificates. Um, certificates is um, you know, certificates is just a receipt of your experiences. It's not necessary, but it is a plus. So you can present your certificate, your achievements, your awards. It's not ne- it's not necessary that it is virtual assistant related, but as long as you have certificate that proves your um skills, then that could be included on your resume. All right. So next one. All right. References. References. It's also important, um, because it. especially yung mga agency um, they really look for references so 
uh, exp- uh, experience lang uh, last week I guess last week I asked Neo to be my one of my references so kasi we cannot really really re- um there are some people on our previous job that really is so honest na sinisiraan ka na to that point so just look for someone who um it's not you know I'm, I'm not saying this to you it's it's basically up to you if you will do this but look for someone who can you know who can be your reference na they can you know mapapabango pa nila yung pangalan mo like um Shinette, uh, which used to be my colleague sa call center she is one of a member here sa BA rookies then through that specific reference call na ginawa ng client ko i have my i have my other clients started last monday and um you know i am extremely happy because of that and and that be, and that happens because of my references So in making your ref- or in laying down your references on your resume you need to have this pattern the name of the client example Prokopia Magalpok um the position the company's name the email and the the uh you know the, the phone number So just make sure to present your um because it's a make it or break it kasi Um, if you could relate to sa mga virtual assistants who especially who uh, encounter um, character references it's it's a make it or break it kasi it's either your you that people your character references ilalaglag ka or will boost you so make sure to pick your uh, character reference uh, char- character references properly or correctly Then um, I guess we're on the end of our um, we're on the end of our discussion. No? So for our task today, um, it's not necessary na if follow nyo to, but this is the suggested format that we could do. So your professional picture followed by your name and contact information, followed followed with your business account, social media. Um, job sites, websites, etc. If you have one, then your skills and your work experience. It doesn't matter, guys, if these three skills, work experience, um, tools used, um, you know, interchange with each other. It doesn't matter. It depends upon you. Ano yung iuuna nyo? Ano yung second? Ano yung third? This three could be interchange. If you've noticed, education is not on the top because You know, clients really don't care about your education, guys. Um, they don't really care about your degree because skills matter more than degree sa, sa mga clients. So uh, you could present your education, but um, it's, not, uh, it's not necessary or it's not, uh, it's not required to be on the top. So just make sure to, to prioritize work experience, tools, and skills. Then you could also add your uh, rewards, certificate, references, and references. So I'm gonna show you before we start with the um, application. I'm gonna show to you my humble. <laughs> Nahi ako i, yaku i. I'm gonna show you my uh, humble resume. And you know, even though this is very simple, guys. Um, for this month alone, uh, for this specific resume, not to brag. But I have more or less 20 applications, uh, 20 interviews for this month alone using the the current um the current resume that I have. So it's simple, but as long as the details is there, you can really attract client. So I'm gonna present to you. Wait lang. I'm gonna present to you my resume. So the first resume that I have. This is the first ever resume that I have, so it's very boring. Um, however, the, the information is there, but hindi pa siya furnace, ganon ka furnace. And this is I I use this I I made this on Canva, so there. And uh, the second resume is the the creative resume. So yan, you can see education. So. This is before Miss Kim taught me 
uh, the pattern that will really catch the attention of clients of skills. You can see that uh, professional experience, yun, tapos awards, tapos references, tapos yun. So it's creative resume. Then I think this is the most recent one. Yeah, ito. Ito yung ginagamit ko. And I got this. This is a word. Sabi pa ni Mr. Neo or ni Boss Neo. This is the word, a word um, resume. So this, uh, you can see that uh, I have my profile picture. I have my name, the, the position. It, it really depends upon you. Ano yung position na gagamitin nyo. You can see my address, my email, phone number, birthday. Um, yan. You can also use this one, this pattern. Yeah, this pattern. But uh, really, the client really don't care about, about that anymore. So also include your social media. This is what I uh, talked about earlier. Social media, uh, contact references, yung, um, Skype, etc. Then I have my skills. I have my experiences. Then I have the tools. Then the education. I did not include high school and elementary. Of course, guys, they will not bother to know about that. Trust me. Then I have my awards. I have my certificates. Then references. Simple lang. It's up to you. It's mainly up to you. So again, I represent. I present to you earlier two types of um, output or tools that you could use to make um, the uh, the resume, which is Canva and FlowCV.io. So it's up to you what you will use. But for this workshop, we're gonna use Canva.com. All right. So that's the end of my presentation, guys. So, what's next, boss? Boss, what's next, boss Kevin? Boss Kevin. Okay, so um, congratulations and thank you, Mr. Rap, our founder and most humble and friendly. Grabe eh, naman yung founder. Ah, founder and most humble speaker for this night. So yeah, um, congratulations. Let's give him a clap. Hands, please. Okay, so yeah, um, di ba um, sinabi ni Sir Rap, we will be using um, can, uh, we will be using Canva. So here's the thing. So as you can see here, I have a, a Google Sheets here. Um, on your resume, um, on your on um, making a resume, um, what you're gonna do is um use um use the format that um Sir Rafael Give, given to you and um, if you're not finished or you're finished or it's is it unfinished or unfinished you just put your name here and the link here and it will um, the link I'll just teach you how to get the link here. so like for example here okay So here's it, here's it, here it is. Okay, so here's the thing. Um, you'll get the link here. You can see. Um, and I just click share and copy the link. I click copy link and put it here beside your names here so sir rafael and sir nino as uh, sir nino or me will check your outputs okay um as you work on your outputs uh, is that clear or it's very confusing san san ba nam any questions uh, i will I'll give the link excel uh, excel link ah uh, sheet google sheet Excel sheet. Uh, yeah. Anyone can edit. Tama. Okay. Yeah, perfect. Send na lang tayo sa yeah. GC. But, and also, guys. Yeah, should we go ahead? Sorry, sorry guys. Sorry. Uh, I had to address uh, Mr. 
Um, RVL's uh, question, mas effective po bang published as website yung resume sa Canva? If you know how to make um, resume using the the website form on Canva, then you could do that too. Um, it's a valid entry po sa, sa application. Yun lang po, sorry for interrupting. Uh, yeah, it's okay naman. So, dyan nila i-paste ang link ng output nyo, ha? And then, but we'll be here until anong what time to, to cater some questions um, if you need. I think ano? it's... So, you can start it now if you are using... Um, for those who are using mobile phones right now, um, we'll be giving you until Sunday, uh, Sunday 7 p.m. for tomorrow. And for those who are using computers right now, you can start opening your canva and click um, before you open your canva um click the link that i sent to you right now the excel link and type in your names there um there's a example sample um format there all right and, and type um, in your mm -hmm. go ahead go ahead sorry <laughs> okay say so say okay sir so um and also just to make this exciting guys and for us to be motivated as well um I'll gonna providing or I'll gonna I'll gonna be giving 500 G cash for for the best resume um sa mga so the best resume so the judges will be uh, of of course Kevin um Bosnio and me so whoever <laughs> has the best um resume wins the and 500 G cash also, the other surprise guest. <laughs> other surprise guest. <laughs> anyways, guys, um, we're gonna um, it's a guarantee that we will provide you a a prize if if you had or if you have created the best resume among all the among all of you na nang, nang dito. So whoever has the best, based on our criteria, ni, based on criteria ni boss niyo, wins the the prize. So take it away, boss Kevin. Sorry. Okay, it's okay. So yeah, um, question the question um again, sir RV, um, boss RVL. So click the link that I have given to you here. It's uh, it will be routed to a uh, routed to Excel sheet, and just type in your name in bold letters, your uh, last name, your first name, and your middle initial, and go to Canva. Second is go to Canva and click. Um, choose your um, your designs there. Just type in the search bar resumes and <clears throat> click the click share and click the before you click the share uh, click the link um, set it to we can see it um, can see or can view before you say uh, you put in the link. I'll show it to you. Okay. Uh, again, okay. Here's how how it goes. Okay, so here it is. Um, click na click share, and anyone with the link. Um, ganito po kasi yan. So you will click the link share. Uh, click the share. It says only you can access. Uh, click this one and click anyone with the link. So click on scan ed, uh, can view and click the copy link and paste it here like so uh, beside your name. Okay. This one, it will be your name and here is your link. Okay, so um, did you get it, guys? Or it's a bit, uh, bit confusing. Okay, just click the raise hand button if you have concerns or questions. So again, for those who are using mobile mobile phones right now, you can do it. Uh, you can do your resume in Canva. Um, we'll be giving you until tomorrow, seven p.m. or eight p.m. Uh, the late. Uh, the latest so um sir neo and i and sir rafael and also the surprise guests would critic the <laughs> the um the best one 
So again, the purpose for this. Uh, hmm? Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. So again, guys, um, to give you a surprising, a surprising, um, um, this workshop, the purpose of this workshop is not only to teach you guys on the basics, but um, after this one, we'll be having a, um, we'll deploy you. Uh, you will, um, the materials or the activities that we will, be, uh, that you will be using, you will be put it, uh, you will be using it to apply and we'll we will be monitoring you on your progress so yeah <laughs> um if i don't know what um how much <laughs> yeah sir yeah. neil yeah i've been i've been waiting okay, to Nio. insert it because uh, yeah so, okay, yun ito lang. Um, this is not similar with what we did last month because last month ano lang, diba? passive listening lang but this time uh, ganun talaga eh. Did you know na you actually learn something if you do it? So, by this time, we want you to learn by actually doing it. So, that's why we hold you accountable. We we do give you some tasks and then we check on it. And thankfully, ang bait ng founder, may pa-incentive pa siya sino yung magandang resume. Now, you might be wondering bakit, di ba? Um, why we're doing this to really help you guys uh, ako kasi when I started no one no one really assisted or guided me and ako talaga I, I grew up financially challenged and I understand some of you might be in that situation as well kasi medyo guminhawa na tayo somehow no? with, with luck and preparation we are here now where we are now uh, yan gusto lang namin to somehow be able to give positive contribution and to pass it forward lang lang din kasi meron ding nag-guide sa amin later on and yun na yung yung ginagawa namin sa inyo ang only wala namang payment dito the only payment siguro makita namin is you do your task and kung you get the client malaman lang namin you were able to get the client happy na kami nun eh yun lang thanks guys for being here and for your time and for taking this ano, workshop Perfect. So, so, so well, um, I, well, mm. question, bro. Okay, um, will they stay here or they will just um send their results after this? Actually, si um, Boss Kevin ang pinaintrust ka niyan eh. Pero if ako, mas maganda talaga after the discussion, gawa sila agad. And then... Oh, uh, um, yeah. Are you working right now? Um, please raise your hands uh, for those working um working it right now. Uh, sa mga may button. trabaho ngayon. Sa mga or, mm. So again, um, if you can, uh, we'll be staying here until. I uh, can. Uh, we'll be staying here until eight <laughs> thirty. But uh, yeah, pwede naman so that uh, we can see. Um. Mm. Stay lang sa so gusto mag stay like your... for example gusto kayong magpano oh. instant check pwede no man mm. Mm. then maybe para you could engage para... yeah you could also engage or update us on the VA uh, VA rookies coaching group so that we know that you're doing something and for us to mm. test your progress uh, say... you can screenshot your work or you can screenshot oy um coach um na magdidagawa ngayon eh parang ganun na are your work pala. Labi kay magbisaya bro no. <laughs> Lisod na. Lagi. <laughs> na nahutdan na taog, nahutdan na taog kuan. Tagalogs in English. Yeah. But yeah, for um, the sake of uh, the Filipino people. <laughs> oh, yeah. So we will not hold you any longer guys, uh, any longer. We will not uh, hold what? you any longer. We will let you do the the task na so before you do the task, set para madali din kayong matapos, can you turn on your camera po to for the poster para makapost tayo sa webs as a sa yeah. page. Yeah, let's take a picture now. Engagement and, something. And also don't forget to write in in our evaluation forms. This will serve as your final ano. Kasi no ano no attendance, no certificate. Yan na. <laughs> Ay, may certificate pala. <laughs> Ay, PDF Amazing. lang hindi naman ng na LBC. <laughs> Ready. <laughs> One, two, three, smile. Sa pa. One, two, three, smile. 
Thanks, guys. Thanks, thanks. Yun. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye. Uh, any questions Bye. before Sir Rafael will go home? Uh, will go home. <laughs> Yeah, okay. na. Let's so, let's you know. mag-stay. Pwede na mag-stay. Okay. Ako, live na ako, ah. Okay. Good night. Thank you, guys. Po, sir. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.